how are you today? Um, I'm good. How about you? I'm happy. Yes, I'm not in the office now. Yes, I'm in the apartment. Yes. Okay, so how's your day? Mm, just normal. Just normal. And um, what did you do? And a little unlucky. Unlucky? Why? Live it in um pretty long time, so I decided to to fix it, and I go out a star and um, nothing works. Oh, the scan fix is need to buy a new um, character. Oh, it can fix. So you need to um to buy a new. New tire. New tire? Okay, so um, have you eaten your dinner? Not yet. How about you? Mm, not yet. Yes. Okay, so um, wait. Remember I gave you a homework, right? Yes. Okay, so um, are you okay now? So I will just um find our book, okay? All right. So okay. Okay, found it. What is to download it all right so while I am downloading our book so can you tell me something about um, your day hey. more I will go out oh, oh, later after our class You were going to the beach? Oh, okay, so now I'm finished downloading it. Alright, so um, remember I gave you a homework, right? Yes. Okay, so let's start. It's okay, wait. This way. Here. Do you like this book? Mm, yes. Yes? It's like Teen Talk, right? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's like Teen Talk, but reading advantage too is... Um, it, I asked my CS um, if they have a reading advantage 3. When, um, I think when... I mean... Last week at... Yeah. That's what not going to happen. Yes, but um, they said that um, they don't have any link of uh, the reading advantage three. Um, that means that They're actually it's giving it's you a book. It's um, that book is for adults. It's um, I think it's ex um, express yourself number two. I don't know. Yes, that's it. Okay, so now let's answer your homework. Okay. Okay, so let's start with um, question number three. The life is worth living. Worth living and you believe will have great effects. 
Yeah. Hmm. All right. So wait, I will just um read the instruction first. All right. So these expression are related to the topic discussed in this chapter. It will be good speaking practice to let students explain what these sentences mean in their own English. It means that you are going to explain these expressions in your own idea. Okay? In your, I mean, in your own opinion. Okay. Yes. All right. So number three, believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. That means that the people believe that they uh, they love their life, and they believe that if they love it, then uh, make it worth all they will do and make a good society. Hmm. Yes. But all right. So give me another answer. Um. That is the answer. Yes. Um. Here. Remember the, the sentences believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create um, the fact. Remember, um, problem or facing circumstances is a part of life, right? So, yes, um, can we skip part four? Why? The next part. No, I'm going to error. Oh, yes, because, oh, uh, oh yes. All right, so let's answer number three. Um, remember, facing a circumstances or problems are a part of life, right? It's a part of yeah. um, living. So, um, and and sometimes we think that um, what if we give we we give up, right? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people want to give up because um, they're tired. They're tired of facing their problems, right? Okay, so um, according to this passage, um, if you believe that life is worth living, it will help you to have to have um, a happy life. I mean, um, you just have to believe that um, living a life is um, is worth it, right? I mean, yeah, um, I have, facing a circumstances or problem, it's a part of life, right? Yes. So, and if you are facing any problems or any circumstances, all you have to do is you need to make yourself strong. You need to um to be, to believe that um you are going. I mean, you can overcome that problem, right? Right. Okay. So um, for example, you. I mean, what are the biggest problems that you have so far? Um, you may. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's study problem. Study? Why? A lot of students um, they may have um, study problem. I'm sorry, I can't really hear you because of your wind. Um, I removed the fan out. Mm, yes. All right. So and mm, they usually have um some study problem and family problem too. Yes, and having a family problem, it has a lot of um bad effects to the students, right? Yes. So how do you overcome your problem? Surely, when um, there's a start of great life, I'm saying that it will be very hard, and it's true. It's true. Okay, so when um every time that you are facing a problem, what are the things that that you always do? Hmm. Trying to find the solution. Try, yes, that's really important. Try always try to find the solutions, and um, if you failed, um, I mean, if you fail to to um to solve it, so um you, you should try to, or I mean, you should think another solutions, right? Or you should think another way to to um to solve your problem, right? All right. Yes, and giving up is not a solution, right? 
Okay, yeah. so let's say for example, um, you have a friend, your classmate, and he's tired of studying. He wants to quit school because um, the test was so hard, the homework was so hard, and so many, and and also um, um, he, his family is not okay. I mean, he has a family problem. All right, so what are you going to, to tell him? I tell him don't quit soon, and um, just keep trying. Sometime lucky will come. That's very good, right? Keep trying or keep moving. Yep, and my family is not okay now. But my younger brother. What? My family is not okay. By my younger brother. Why? For money, I don't know where, but maybe in his pig. What your brother? My younger brother steal money, but I don't know steal. where. Oh, he stole money, honey. It's stole because it's a past tense. Oh, he stole money. But I don't know where. Maybe it is um in his pig. I mean, where? Maybe in his pig. I don't know, but um, I'm pretty sure that it's in his pig. And what did your parents say? Um, he had to write a review, the review, that I don't know, but um, I'm pretty sure that not easy to write. Yes, and where is your brother now? Downstairs. Downstairs, and um, when did it happen? Um, yes, I was on Friday. Friday? You no, know, Friday, I'm sick and I really cannot go to school. So I don't know where he is, but um, what I'm sure that he's stole from somewhere. You know what? I think your brother has a very opposite um personality for you, with you, right? I mean, from I you. Know. I mean, um, you are um you are a bookworm, and um, I mean, you study you study a lot, and you have a good grades, and you also pass an IELTS exam, and IELTS is it's not easy. I mean, a lot of people here in my country try to are trying to pass an IELTS exam, but um, I mean, I mean, I think it's forty percent percent failed because it's hard. Um, I mean, it's not really required here. It's not really required here, but um, people um, the reason why people want to the people here want to pass an IELTS exam because it's also a requirement when you when you are going to, to other country. Yeah, but, um, it's hard. It, yes, it's hard. Yeah. Um, okay, so you... I have a question. Um, does your family know Miss B? Um, can you repeat? I'm not sure to hear because the uh, wind in your place. Yes. Does your family know Miss B? Who's Miss Miss B? I don't know. Oh, I mean C S. My C S. Um, I don't know, but my dad knows. Oh, maybe your dad knows. Oh, Miss B, I know, I know. Have you met her? Um, yes. In the center. In the center. Yes, she's really nice, right? All right. Yes, she's nice. Okay. So now let's move here. Next is number four. Can you please read? It's yes, been saying that the life is a game, but how we can play it if we don't know? Oh, I mean number five. We can't answer this because um the question is not really clear. Some people treat life like a slot machine. Putting in as little as possible. Oh wait. Um, can you 
make the the fan move another um, direction. It's really I can't really hear it. Okay, so um, now let's um, let's continue. All right, so okay. number five. Number five. Some okay. people treat life like a slot machine, putting it as in the little as possible while hoping for the jackpot. Yeah, some people treat life like a slot machine, putting in as a little as possible while hoping for the jackpot. So what does it mean? I don't know, but I think that um, some people that um, use the um, have a lot of hope at life, then sometimes they were ready to wait a really long time for the jackpot, that means lucky, to come with them. Well, your answer is an opposite of the real answer here. Okay, so a lot of people are um, putting a lot of effort on succeeding right they want to succeed but um they're um they are not doing something to succeed right i mean they just they are just depending on luck yes right so yes. that's what these um sentence mean okay so uh, i mean here so what can you say about those people hmm they um, if they um, kind of like are really patient to they are ready to um, give a lot of effort in life so um, there are people that um will s soon to have lucky and that will be really proud about them yes and also um if you really want to succeed you should not depend only on luck i mean you, you should um make an effort you should um find the job and um, you should um, do better, right? Earn money, help your family, save money so that um, you will you can have a better future. And also, you can um, help your family. You can provide their needs, right? Okay. So, um, what should people do to success? Hmm. To have Keep a success. Trying. Hmm. To try and give life some effort and um, keep keep waiting and trying to um, see lucky. Yes. Okay. So how about you? Alright. So I have a question. Do you believe in luck? Yes. 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 Some t luck is real and just keep people happy because then. Give life a lot of access. Yes. Okay, so now um, let's move here. Next is number three. Okay, so wait, I will just turn off my camera, okay? Okay, so okay. number six. Six. A long life is a gift of God. A full and fruitful life is your own doing. Hmm. All right. So number six, number six. A long life has a gift. A gift. A full and fruitful life is um your own. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but um. I think that is life is really, really kind of like worse. So we because we live life time, so to be really good. And if the life become lucky, it's our own acting. Yes. Yeah, all right. So that's great. That's correct. And um, here. 
A long life is a gift of, of God. A full and fruitful life is your own doing. So it means that our life is a gift from God, right? Yes. Yes. This life that we have is um, a gift from God. So um, to have a fruitful life, we have to work it, work hard for it, right? We have to study hard so that we can have um, a better a better job in the future and we can earn money, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, how about you? Um. Okay. So number seven. Oh, I mean, um, how about you? Um, do you want to follow your 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 father's footsteps? Um, I would do another way. Maybe success. Another way to success. Yeah. My dad way not literally make a lot of success, but it's still success. But um, I will find another way. Yes. Okay. So um, your dad is a businessman, right? Yes, but not literally success. A lot. Okay. So how about you? What do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. I don't know, maybe, um, I don't sure you know. Mm, you're not sure? Maybe, uh, maybe a pilot. A pilot? You want to be a pilot? Yeah, because yeah. I really like um, playing. You like playing? And I'm yeah. doing literary film interesting with um, doctor because that will really make people want to not seeing when the show will be yeah. Yes and pilot I think um studying pilot is um I think it's it took a lot of time. I think it's more than five years. Yeah that enough I just no. need to spend five years of my life and studying, training a lot, and yes, a lot of money. Yes, and also help your parents. Okay, so for example, you are earning a lot of money. All right, so what do you want to do? I mean, what are the things that um you want to do? Hmm. Um, give my parents. A half of it and charity it for poor people. Half. Um, give my parents fifty percent of that money and charity it, um fifty. So that means fifty fifty. Oh, you want to help poor people? And help my parents too. Yes, help your parents too, and also your brother. No, I don't know. I don't think that's like when you give him a large amount of money. But um, as as an elder, eldest brother, um, it's our because because I'm also an eldest, so it's our responsibility to guide our siblings. Like um, we need to teach them um good manners, right? We need to educate yes. them. We, we need to teach them a good manners, what are the bad and the good things, right? Yes, that's And we need to have um and we need to um to have a patience. I mean, um having a, a brother or a sister it's 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 not easy. So we have to as yeah. an elder else we need to discipline them, right? Yes. Yes, but it's not. Um, I mean, I mean, it's not easy, right? <laughs> no, that is not literally easy. Yes, it's not literally easy. Okay. Yes. All right. So thank you, Ben, and for sharing your answer. Okay. So um, I want you to answer. Continue. Um, we are number six, right? Yes. Yes, number six. Okay. Wait. I was. That's fine here and on our next lesson we are going to talk about traffic and transportations yes. 
Okay. All right, so thank you, Ben, and have a good night. And you can eat your dinner after this. Bye. 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 I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay.